when we are developing one app, it's quite normal. We need to perform network connections. It means we need to request for data when you want to display information for some user, or we want to send data when we want our user to post some comment to be processed by the application. However, we cannot just perform network requests, submit HTTP messages to a backend server because some exception would be triggered. So one challenge of Android developers is how to deal with that. Moreover, after you already have solved the network on main thread exception, sometimes when developer wants to update the user interface based in the responses that were provided by the network requests, we are not automatically allowed to do that. Sometimes we can see this kind of exception, called from wrong thread exception. So we have a second problem to deal. So the goal of this video is show to you one alternative that's very simple to solve these two kinds of problems in one very safe and concise piece of code. Now we are going to see one example of code which can deal with these two kinds of exceptions. First of all, we need to perform a network request to load some data just after the user has opened some interface, some Android activity. So in the onCreate method, we call the start method from one thread, a normal thread, native thread from Java programming language. So not a big deal. So as we have created a separated thread, this network connection here will be executed without problem and the data is going to be retrieved and the whole JSON string from this endpoint is going to be inserted in this variable here. Okay, but from here and on, we cannot use and update the graphical elements, the view elements from the activity. And for this purpose, we need to call this method run on UI thread. This method is from the main activity. Okay, the main activity, as you can see, has this method run on Y thread. And as we have here an inner class, so this class here is inside the main thread, we can use the this object here for the main thread. And then we call the method run on UI thread. So here inside, we can, we can handle the graphical elements, the views, but outside the thread, not. So just by doing that, you solve the problem. So here is the first solution for network connections. And here, the second solution for the update of graphical interface. So if it is very short piece of code here, you can perform network requests and updates your interface. Thanks for watching.